Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Randolph and after yesterday's absolute failure with the heavy jungle packs, I thought today we'd open something with a little bit more of a guarantee in terms of the cards that we're going to pull. So today in my hands, I have a brand new booster box of VMAX Rising completely sealed. 30 packs inside of here, guaranteed secret rare, loads of hollows, loads of V cards, loads of V max cards. So without any further ado, let's break the seal. All right, so here we go. I also want to say, I hope you guys are all doing good in the quarantine, aka the self-isolation, aka the lockdown currently in the UK and pretty much in the whole world. Obviously, make sure you guys do stay inside. It's super important. And hopefully we as people and we as communities and different nations around the world can come together and hopefully we can uh, get through this and... Um, yeah, be stronger because of it. I'm going to try and do my part by keep bringing you guys content, keep bringing you videos like this, live streams as well. Keep strong, guys. I'm sure we'll get through it. Uh, but yeah, here we go. 30 booster packs of VMAX Rising. So hashtag first pack look, let's do this. And for those of you who have been watching the channel for a while, will know that the card that I'm trying to pull in this VMAX Rising set is the Golden Berserker. No, is the Golden Frostmoth. Laura will put a picture on the screen right about. Now, Golden Frostmoth, Secret Rare Frostmoth, that's what we're going for in this set. And these Japanese cards will make up the brand new English set coming out on the May the 1st. It's called Rebel Clash. And we have a bunch of booster boxes available on my website. We just placed a humongous order, or a humongous pre-order, should I say. So Pokeran.net you guys know where to go and we are starting this booster box opening with a hollow vika vault and also to those of you who are asking me where the stock is on the website right now uh we've sold out of all the booster boxes and the trouble is I didn't want to place a big order or I didn't want to place an order of some more booster boxes while the uncertainty is in the air right now surrounding the, the current virus. And I hope you guys can understand that because Laura and I are a small business. If we order some boxes and then we get put on lockdown and we can't go to the post office and we can't send you guys booster boxes anymore, it's going to be a big chunk of our cash flow of our you know money sat in boxes that can't be sold. So I hope you guys understand that we have to be a little bit cautious. But with that being said, make sure you guys do go and check out pokeyran.net and keep checking because stock will be in soon uh but yeah hold tight i appreciate the patience with that we do have a bunch of single cards available and of course guys we do have the fairy energy merch available make sure you go and pick up some merch guys support the channel support laura support myself and most of all just get yourself an awesome hoodie we've got a black one we've got a pink one fairy energy what more can i say but yeah in the second pack we have a uh, Aegislash, slash vulpix aracuda Arascuda, I don't know actually. Bronzor and another hollow. We're going back to back. Let's go. We got a hollow Appleton. Um, and for those who don't know, or for those who are new to Japanese cards, look at the way they shine, man. Look at the borders on those cards. Absolutely sublime. The Japanese sets do have only five cards in each pack, apart from the high class sets that they do, such as Tag All Stars. I'm also looking for some more Tag All Stars boxes, but they just can't be found right now. It's crazy. Bronzor, Indeedy. Stunky and a double colorless energy. That's the first pack where we don't have a hollow in it, but that's okay. We'll keep fighting. We'll keep climbing. Climbing? We'll keep moving. We'll just keep having packs, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Mr. Mime. Sorry, no, Mr. Rhyme. Mr. Hero Arita with the artwork. We have a Helioptile, Growlithe, a Natu, and we have a double. Let's go, baby. A double V. And uh, yeah, in Sword and Shield, they have now moved to V cards rather than G card, G -ma GXs, sorry. Uh, so we do have V cards, AKA, you guys know what I'm saying. That's an awesome card. Double is a Pokemon that's a little bit slept on in my opinion. I really liked it when we saw it being first revealed uh, for the Sword and Shield like trailers. But I think when the game came out, there were a lot more stronger Pokemon and a lot more cooler Pokemon around. Uh, so I think Double kind of like dropped down the peck and order a little bit, but I still like it. We have Cremorant here. We have Galarian, Farfetch. Love that artwork. Applin, super cool. Dreepy, and we have Professor Sonya. And this is not the most recent Japanese set. The most recent set is Rebellion Clash, but the way Japanese sets work is, well, in relation to English sets, is that there are usually about three Japanese main series sets that make up the English set. Obviously, Japan is where Pokemon cards originate from, so we do have to wait for them to be translated and reprinted in English. We have Snova, we have Impidimp, we have a Hollow Surfetch. This is my favorite Pokemon. What One of my favorite Pokemon from Sword and Shield. I mean, just, just look at this guy. Look how majestic he is. Look how confident he is. I can't wait to see him in the anime. Uh, I haven't yet got around to watching the Sword and Shield anime in Japanese dubbed. Sub, sorry, I meant subbed, but uh, I'm hoping to. I actually like watching it in Japanese a little bit more. Um, it's just that you can't watch it while you're doing something else. You have to focus on it. You know what I'm saying? Next pack, we have Bronzong. We have Bunnelby. Chargebug. Aracuda, I think it is. And a trainer card. Looks like it's Professor... No, it's not Professor Magnolia's. It's Leon's house, isn't it? It's Randolph, you know it's Leon's house, man. All right, next pack. I wonder when we're going to get the guaranteed secret rare. And please let it be the golden Frostmoth. Please. I've opened so many packs so far. 
So many booster boxes. I deserve this, man. I deserve this. We then have a hollow Gyarados. Yo, this card is sick. I completely forgot about this card. If you guys want to pick this card up and add it to your collection, Pokeran.net is the place to be. We are focusing on single cards right now and just getting all the stock that I have onto the website for you guys. So the store is completely open. There may be some delays. I can't guarantee that there won't be any delays because of the, obviously, the coronavirus right now. But it is what it is. And yeah, we'll try our best to get it out to you. We haven't had any issues so far. Uh, so yeah, just Pokeran.net. Uh, and anyway, moving on, we have uh, we have Milo, we have Impidim, Dead Casola, we have Metapod, and we have Skunk Tank. S sorry, Skunk Tank. I always get that Pokemon mixed up. It's not a great Pokemon regardless anyway, right? <laughs> if your favorite Pokemon is Skunk Tank, let me know in the comments so I can laugh at you. <laughs> Please actually do, I'm really interested. And we have another one, Speak of the Devil. <laughs> uh, Dead Casola. Grubbin, Grubbin, sorry, Vulpix, and Skylar. I have no idea why Skylar is in this set, guys. If you know why, let me know. Maybe she's related to Sonya or something like that. I have no idea. Keeping it moving, we have Rapidash, a fan favorite. We have Mr. Mime, Caterpie, love the artwork with the moon behind it. We have, oh, looks like we got something good. We have a Hone Edge, and we have a VMAX Inteleon. And I think I do actually have all of the main series cards in this set now. So every single card you see me pull, uh, like this will be available on the website, including all of the single cards. Well, look at that, my green screen. Yo, look at that, see through card. But yeah, even the common and uh, uncommon cards will be available on my website as bulk. So if you guys want to grab some of those and put them in your binders, be my guest. But yeah, VMAX, Inteleon right there, looking all cool. We have Shuckle, don't flip her with the tickle. Wait, no, 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 Randolph, no, no. Toxel, Phalanx. We have Halucha, and we have Double Colorless Energy. Do -do -do. Hey, we got Arcanine. I'm saying, you know what? No, I'm not I'm not succumbing to your guys' comments. I'm gonna keep saying Arcanine, because that's its name. Arcane and a canine. Arcanine. Screw you guys. Awesome artwork there. One of my favorite artworks in a long time. Wish that was hollow, would be insane. Droopy, Snova, we have Mr. Mime, and we have a Sandaconda V card. This is a really cool Pokemon, actually. It's not the best snake in Pokemon there. We all know the best snake is Snake Backwards. Merch available right now. <laughs> Sorry if I got plugged the website too much, but it's literally our business, you know, so it's nice to promote it. The support on the website has been absolutely insane as well. I'm really glad that I can kind of get you guys into Pokemon cards again. I can supply you with packs and everything, and uh, it's just a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for supporting it. Toxtricity. Ooh, Drac, Drac Loke. Yep, Drac Loke. I actually thought that looked like Dragapult for a second, but I realized Dragapult has two Dreepies. Anyway, moving on. Binacle. Oops. Heliolisk and... Red Scarf. Yo, and no Secret Rare yet. So, when are we going to get it? When are we going to get that Golden Frostmoth? And for those wondering why I'm so excited about getting this Golden Frostmoth, it's because it's shiny as well. Like, the Pokemon itself is shiny, and the card is gold. What more can you want? What more can you ask for, even? Zartu. Stunky. Natu. Magikarp with a fat Pikachu, or a fat cheeked Pikachu. And the last card is an Inteleon V. Look at that, guys. Again, Inteleon is also a Pokemon that I kind of didn't really love too much before it was a uh, before it was well before the game came out i was the same with all the starters especially cinderace i did like rillaboom i wasn't so sure on cinderace and i wasn't so sure on inteleon but after the games came out definitely um they both definitely went up in my estimations and you know what that's the question of the day what is your favorite pokemon from sword and shield generation 8 let me know in the comments down below i'll be replying and i'll be hearting the ones that i agree with okay we have shuckle Kosola, Snunky, toxel and a red scarf can't wait for these cards to come out in English, so I know what that card actually <laughs> actually says. I think I've seen it somewhere before, and I think I know what it is, but I just can't recall it, you know. It's somewhere in my subconscious, somewhere deep in there, along with Animal Crossing dreams. <laughs> Don't know what that means. We have a Diggersby, Natu, Hone Edge, Grubbin, and a Cinderace. Again, speak of the devil, Cinderace V card. And I'm a big fan of these V cards, especially the borders um, and the way these cards look. Also in Japanese or in the Japan sets, they actually textured. I don't know if you guys know this. I've explained it before on the channel, but for those who are new, I'll explain it again. You might be able to see it if I hold the cards like, like this. You see that? Look at the outline of Cinderace there. You see the way like it's like rigid a bit, or like it ridges up a little bit. Super cool. All right, guys. Next pack, Aruni. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure why I call it that. But anyway, let's continue. Hey, RK9 once again. Galarian, Farfetch'd, Heliolisk, Indeedy, Female, and a Leon's House. I'm going to zoom out a tad just to fit all the cards that were pulled so far. A great little collection already. And look at these. Boom, we've got so much more to go. 
Let's go, baby. I swear down, if I get a regular full art Pokemon again as a secret rare, I'm going to be sad, man. I deserve something good, guys. Leave a like on the video right now for good luck. Put some prayer emojis down below. We've got Growlithe. We got Impidimp and we have a hollow surfetched. Yes, baby. Another one. If you guys want to pick this up, you guys know where to go. <laughs> uh, I'm a broken record at this point, but we stand it, you know? <laughs> Boom. Next pack, baby. We have a Bronzong. We have Halucha, Caterpie, Imp uh, Morgrem, and a Water Bucket. <laughs> oh, and when are we going to get it, guys? When is this secret rare going to hit us? We've got Barrascuda right here. We have Binnacle. Oh. Could it be this pack? Helioptile, Applin, and yo, let's go. I'm happy with that. We do have the secret rare, guys, and it is Professor Sonya, but I'm super happy to get that. I love all of the character cards, or not the character, all of the full art trainer cards, should I say, or supporter cards in this case. I'm pretty sure this is a supporter, but look at this, guys. We have Professor Sonya. One of my goals in Sword and Shield is to get a binder complete of all of the full art trainer and supporter cards. I saw someone did this for Sun and Moon, and it looked amazing, so I really want to continue, or I really want to do that myself for the Sword and Shield era. So I'm definitely going to be keeping this one, and hopefully I'll get another one to put into my binder i'm mainly going to focus on the english full art cards um just because i'll probably open more of those packs in general but regardless i'm still going to put this into my binder and this is going to be a perfect card in my collection stunning condition as well although we do have a little bit of whitening down there which is not usually normal for japanese cards but look at this professor sonya great character great card as well so boom there we go we did it guys we got the secret rare however we do or we should expect let me move this across a little bit we should expect a bunch more v max cards and I'd say a few more V cards as well. And let's continue with the video. If you're wondering what this pack is doing there, this one right here, I always leave a pack right to the very end just to kind of build the suspense. We have a Shukul. You guys know what to not do with Shukul. Let me know in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. Natu, Felinx, and Skylar. I think we're a little bit out of focus. Uh, all the focus is on this Sonya right there, but we got to bring it back to the packs. Boom. I have actually got some Revelian Clash boxes that I can put on the website right now. Not many. I have like five, but I thought I'd hold them off because I actually don't have much content myself or I don't have much packs myself for the content. So I thought I'd wait a little bit. Yo, we got Grimmsnarl. I thought I would hold a few of the boxes myself because otherwise, if I don't, these videos will stop and I'll be unable to open Pokemon cards. I have to open more online cards. That's, it. That's what I'm going to do, actually. I'm going to open more online Pokemon cards. Okay, moving on. We have Water Bucket, <laughs> Dracloak, Growlithe, Aracuda, and we have a Rillaboom V card. So we've now pulled the whole collection in terms of the starter V cards. Look at that. Boom. If you guys want to get these and you want to get these in a collection and a full set, make sure you head right now to Pokeran.net because they might not be available for much longer. And yeah, here we go. Next pack. Come on, I'm thinking maybe two more VMAX cards would be would be great. I think that's possible as well. Sometimes the more V cards you get, the less V maxes you get. But let's try and be lucky here. I mean, we're already lucky with the Sonya card. That's a great pull. A great pull. I'm sure Laura put the value in the corner. And I'm probably... Well, if I was to estimate, I'd probably say that's worth quite a bit, you know. The trainer cards usually are. In Rebellion Clash, the card that I really want is Boss's Way. So I'm going to hit you guys with the Rebellion Clash booster box opening. Maybe tomorrow or the next day. And hopefully in that one, we can get the Giovanni full art. That would be awesome. In DD, we have Grubbin. And we have VMAX Rillaboom. I told you guys you could expect some some more VMAX cards and what did we get some more VMAX cards let's go baby and if I dare say I do feel like we're gonna get one more honestly I feel like we're gonna get one more guys we've got four packs to do it in I would say I mean I feel like we've got a lot of V cards that's the only thing that's letting us down here but let's see guys let's see can we be lucky in this one let me know in the comments what you think we're we gonna get more more VMAX card VMAX VMAX card or is this gonna be it we have a Bunnelby a Hone Edge, we have a Galarian, Farfetch'd, and a Skylar. Ooh, okay, three more packs to go. Let's go. Will we get a VMAX card? Oh, yeah, I'm hoping so. If we get a Cinderace VMAX as well, I'm going to flip out. That's going to be incre in crazy, incredible. Caterpie, Mr. Rhyme. Oh, we have something shining. We have a Charger Bug and a Hollow Duraludon. Yo, that's sick. I've actually only got one duplicate in this entire um, pack opening in terms of the Hollows, and that is actually... The Surf Etch, which is a great card to get two of. Let me tell you that. Moving on, we have the second to last pack, guys. Come on. Let's go, baby. Let's go. VMAX. 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 We have a Obama Snow, Bronzor, Galarfish. Why, was Why did I want to call it Galarfish? <laughs> it's a magic card. Dreepy and a Turfield Stadium. So, guys, it all comes down to this last pack right here. 
Can we please see some hashtag last pack look in the comments? Can we also see some prayer signs? When I say prayer signs, I mean the prayer emojis. If you guys could drop those down in the comments, it will give me more look. It's guaranteed. And if you do that right now, we are going to see a VMAX card in the back of this pack, okay? Aegislash, Morgrem, Flapple, no, Applin, Helioptal, and it's a Professor Sun, yeah. But that's okay. No VMAX card because we do have the full art Sonya, Professor Sonya right here. Great pull. Probably one of my best pulls so far from VMAX Rising, if I had to say to myself. I think this card's stunning. And um, yeah, definitely a sought after card. And so guys, let me quickly go through the cards that we're pulling in this video. We've had a Giraladon Hollow, Grimmsnarl, Surfetched, number one, Gyarados, 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 Appleton, Hollow card, Surfetched, number two, Vikovolt. Moving on to the V cards, we have a beautiful Inteleon. You know what? I can zoom in. I'm not sure why my voice went that high there. Inteleon V, Cinderace V, Rillaboom V. You guys know how we do. Sandaconda, Dubwool. And then onto the VMAX cards, we have a Rillaboom VMAX, Inteleon VMAX. And last but not least, we have the beautiful. Well, not not calling Sonya beautiful, guys. I'm calling the card beautiful. You know, you know what? I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like. Make sure you comment down below answering the question of the day, which is, what is your favorite Pokemon in Generation 8? Subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon videos. I drop them every single day on this channel. But for now, though, take care. My name is Randolph. What? Peace out. <laughs>